we're given f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 3, where x is greater than or equal to 2. We have this domain restriction to make sure that f of x is 1 to 1 and has an inverse function. We're asked to find df inverse dy at y equals 12. Instead of determining the inverse derivative function value at y equals 12, by determining f inverse of y and then finding its derivative and summing in y equals 12, we'll use the fact that the derivative function values of f of x and f inverse of x are reciprocals of one another at corresponding points. For example, if f of a equals b and f inverse of b equals a, f inverse prime of b is equal to one divided by f prime of f inverse of b, and since f inverse of b is equal to a, we can say f inverse prime of b equals one divided by f prime of a. Again, the derivative function values f inverse prime and f prime are reciprocals of one another at corresponding points. However, to use this formula, we'll first have to determine the x value or input of f of x that gives an output or y value of positive 12. So we'll begin by setting f of x equal to 12 and solving for x. Let's go ahead and subtract 12 on both sides. Simplifying, we have zero equals x squared plus four x minus nine. Unfortunately, this is not factorable, and we'll have to use the quadratic formula, which I've included here on the right, where in our case, notice a is equal to one, b is equal to four, and c equals negative nine, which gives us x equals in the numerator, we have negative b, which is negative four, plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared is four squared, minus four times a is one, times c is negative nine, all divided by two times a, which is two times one. Simplifying, we have x equals negative four, plus or minus the square root of, underneath the square root, we have 16 plus 36, which is equal to 52. I'll divide it by two, and 52 is equal to two times 26, and 26 is equal to two times 13. The square root of 52 is equal to the square root of four times 13, or two square root 13. This gives us x equals negative four, plus or minus two square root 13 divided by two. Let's continue simplifying. This is equal to negative four divided by two plus or minus two square root 13 divided by two, which gives us x equals negative two plus or minus square root 13. But remember, x must be greater than or equal to negative two, indicating we only use the solution of x equals negative two plus square root 13. So now we know the input or x value for f of x that gives an output or y value of 12. We know that f of negative two plus square root 13 is equal to positive 12. But remember this also indicates that f inverse of 12 is equal to negative two plus square root 13. Now remember our goal here is to determine df inverse dy at y equals 12 which is f inverse prime of 12, which we know from our formula is equal to one divided by f prime of f inverse of 12. We know f inverse of 12 is equal to negative two plus square root 13, which means f inverse prime of 12, which we're looking for is equal to one divided by f prime of negative two plus square root 13. Which means now we can find f inverse prime of 12 by finding f prime of x, which is easy to do, and then evaluate the derivative function at negative two plus square root 13. So again, we have f of x is equal to x squared plus four x plus three and therefore f prime of x is equal to just two x plus four, and f prime of negative two plus square root 13 
is equal to two times the quantity negative two plus square root 13 plus four. Distributing, we have negative four plus two square root 13 plus four. So now we know that f prime of negative two plus square root 13 is equal to two square root 13. So finally, we can determine df inverse dy at y equals 12, or f inverse prime of 12, which you now know is exactly equal to one divided by f prime of negative two plus square root 13, which we know is two square root 13. Let's write this one more time. We can say df inverse dy at y equals 12 is equal to f inverse prime of 12, which is equal to exactly one divided by two square root 13. I hope you found this helpful.